Joining us now is Jeff Dice. He is a former chief of staff for uh, Ron Paul. One can't help but look at this. I know the numbers are astronomical, but we do ask, Jeff, are we, are we giving too much too soon? Well, the numbers are astronomical, and markets didn't respond too well over the weekend to these numbers. I'm not sure that more narcotic, uh, more Viagra does much for the patient at this point. I'm sure you remember uh, Janet Yellen used to use the term pushing on a string. There's only so much the Fed can do, and now the Treasury and the Trump administration are trying to jump in on the fiscal side and talk about sending all of us $1,000 or something like that. The problem, Rick, is that prices adjust. None of this creates any new good or services in the economy. None of this makes anything more productive. It's just more money. And frankly, right now, Americans and people in the West, they don't need more credit. They don't need more debt. That's not the problem. We've created a ton of both since 2008. And from my perspective, the, the lessons have not been learned. Uh, you know, more stimulus is, is not what's needed here. What's needed is some sobriety and getting us back on a firmer footing with respect to the dollar and debt and all the things that have plagued us since 2008 that we enjoyed pushing a little bit farther down the road. So maybe this is the end of the road. What are the repercussions, though? Let's suppose that you're right. And yeah, there's a trickle up effect because of some of this uh, capital infusion. But at what cost? What, what might happen down the road that we all may end up wishing we hadn't done this for? Well, ultimately, it's the devaluation of your dollars. If you happen to be an American, uh, unless you're very wealthy, you're probably not very diversified with respect to your retirement savings or with respect to your day-to-day -day purchasing power. So that's, that's the ultimate fear. And look, this may well be good for the dollar in the short term because the world still views the U.S. dollar and the U.S. economy as safer and better than the others. Now, that's a relative... Uh, perspective hmm. right now. But in the short term, uh, I think a lot of people will be selling assets and flooding into dollars. I think we're seeing that with precious metals. So we don't know exactly how this will, will play out. But I do think in the long run, when you're creating more and more of something uh, on one side of the supply and demand equation and on the other side, the demand isn't going up or it's even going down. I mean, let's face it. Rick, this is a deflationary period. We're closing businesses. Airplanes are sitting there grounded. Restaurants are empty. Kids aren't even at school. This is a deflationary environment. So people don't need more credit. The, the interest rates don't much matter right now. People aren't out there thinking, oh, I need to go buy a house or a new Honda Accord. They're thinking the opposite. They're hunkering down. So it, it, it just seems to me like we need to figure out how to, first of all, get past this coronavirus thing and then create the foundation for prosperity, which isn't just more money and more credit. Down to a minute, but do you agree with those who say that we're running out of bullets and that too many of them were misspent a year ago or so and we started lowering interest rates and uh, putting money into banks that we essentially didn't need to? Absolutely. Uh, I think David Stockman was entirely right in 2008 that this, uh, the Wall Street crisis would not have necessarily spread to Main Street. I mean, let's think just, just a little more than 10 years ago, interest rates were at 4 and 5%. So the Fed had a lot of rate cutting it could do. It had a lot of ammunition. And today, I think it's, it's basically run out of ammo. And I think pretty soon you're going to hmm. see Chairman Powell and other people at the Fed say, you know, this is all we can do. And they're going to kick it over to the fiscal side. Mr. Deist, you're a great guest. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.